for every 10 minutes of teacher talk. Students should process for, te for two minutes. You don't actually tell your students to do 10-2. What you do is you say, put your heads together, and you give them some question to help them process what you've just um, talked about. So what did you ask them to tell, tell your partners what the story was about? What their favorite part of the story was. And that can be, you can make it any, any question. So a 10-2 comes from the work of Art Costa, Art Costa, C -O -S -T -A, as well as Jim Cummins, C-U-M-M-I-N-S. The 10-2 is backed by brain research. Um, I, I, I've been reading things about the brain is kind of like a sponge. It can only absorb so much, and then it needs some time to process that information. And so uh, 10 minutes is about the max that students can pay attention and, and take information in. But they need that time to process, to talk about what they've just heard. And this is true for, it's true for me, I know, when I sit in workshops and I'm listening and listening. Um, anybody ever been to a Marzano workshop? Because he does, he does attend too throughout his workshops. He will talk for 10 minutes and then he will ask the audience to, to talk in their group about something that he's just been talking about. So this is true for everybody. So it's, it's backed by uh, brain research and it's also a way to deepen understand, the rationale is to deepen and your understanding of the material you're, you're teaching the students.